Hey there. I had a really wonderful call this week with an HR director. Um, not unusual in that I often get asked about employee mental health and in particular about eating disorders. But what was really nice about this particular call was the HR director herself is working from home. She's got 170 staff furloughed and she'd had the good grace to get in touch to say, I happen to know that there is a young adult member of my staff who's furloughed and is living at home on her own and she's still battling with an eating disorder having not that recently been um, discharged from hospital. This HR director was saying I feel a level of responsibility to want to support her and know that I as somebody who is responsible for employee well well-being can do the right thing and ask the right questions and get involved but not step on this person's space while she's uh, in recovery. I just thought Wow, if only more people in business, be they managers, be they in charge of employee engagement and HR activity, if only more people thought like that about the mental health and well-being issues that their staff may or may not be going through. And not all of us know. The, the reality is when it comes to eating disorders, often those are the things that are living behind closed doors. But you might have a suspicion. You might be thinking, I don't know for sure that that person has ever been diagnosed with an eating disorder and certainly it's not something they've disclosed, but I have concerns, I'm worried. And it may be enough that right now in this situation that we're living through, you might just have that kind of heightened anxiety on behalf of that member of staff and think, I wanna do more to support them. And even if that's that you don't know how to use the right dialogue or you don't know how to make it better for them, you can at least give them some kind of lifeline or suggestions or guidance. And what was great about this hour's conversation I've had with this HR director is not only have I been able to provide her with our contacts and our support groups and opportunities that she can now go back to that member of staff with at any point that she feels comfortable to do so, but also we've now got in place that when her staff are back in the workplace, we're gonna do some uh, training in person and if it takes a whole lot longer before we are in that situation, then we're going to do something online so that her managers understand more about eating disorders. So it remains a big issue for me and for the Wednesday's Child team that we want more people in business to understand about eating disorders. Please do try to empathise as much as you can to increase your knowledge about what a struggle of a mental health illness this is. This isn't a choice illness. This isn't a habit or a behaviour that somebody is just doing to gain attention. So when we are living through times as stressful as they are right now, there will be people out there, diagnosed or otherwise, who will really be struggling. So if I can help, if anybody in my team can help, if our support groups can be of any assistance whatsoever, please, please, please get in touch and just let us play a small part in making that person feel better. Thanks ever so much for your time and have a great day.